How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards back. 1984 Tops autograph update. Ten cards going in today. Hope everyone out there is having a wonderful weekend. Football playoff started today. Raiders had a shot to pull it off, but uh, came up a little short. And that is a very Raiders thing to do. Uh, Cincinnati, a playoff. Their first playoff victory in, what, like 30-something years. Very good for them. 31 years, I think it was. First card going in today is going to be Ed Vandenberg. Ed Vandenberg. Very good signer. Had a nice little career. Mariners, Dodgers, Indians, Rangers. Here we go. Let's throw him on in. You got him on a nice Tiffany card here. All right, here we go. Let's take out the non-Tiffany. I believe I sent him an 87 tops and 84 tops. Both Tiffany. There we go, Ed Vandenberg, card number one. Card number two is going to be a legend, old lefty here, Steve Carlton. Steve Carlton signs through the mail, $40 a card. Here we go. This is the all-star version of his card. I think they used the same picture for like three different cards in a set. Not very creative, but how to get them all signed. Oh, there's Dale Murphy. I don't know if I got... I think I got him signed on that already. I'm not quite sure. I might have to get Dale again. Dale signs through Pass Pros. Not terribly expensive, in case you were wondering. Next card going in, card number three, Dan Quisenberry. Here's a tough one. Dan Quisenberry, 1985 World Series champs. Bunch of saves with the Royals. 244, I do believe. Died of brain cancer in 1998. Pretty decent signer up until then. Here are some cards on eBay of his. I had to look far and wide to find some that matched up with some of his other signatures. And I also purchased a uh, Beckett authenticated autograph of his, which looks just like this. So I'm hoping this one's real. But uh, yeah. some of these cards you buy, you just sort of got to just take a leap of faith, I guess. And if it's if it's real, awesome. If it's not, well... You know, it's not it's not a perfect system. Even even authenticated cards are not perfectly graded, so or perfect perfectly authenticated. So who who knows? You know what? This can't get hung up on that kind of stuff. I I do the best I can. So here's Dan up here in the corner. Take him out. I've got a box of cards over here that are j I'm just filling up cards with. I'm taking cards out, and I had them all over the table, and I no I had no idea where to put them all. So <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm filling up a card box full of. Uh, just extra 84 tops, 87 tops. All the cards I, I get signed on eBay or I buy on eBay. So have a place to put them because it was getting messy. There he is next to Bake McBride. Next card going in is Rhino. Ryan Sandberg, another great signer. Signs for, well, I mean, probably $20 a card. Or if you just want to send one card, he'll probably sign it for 10 So Ryan Sandberg is a nice, easy one to get. There he is up top. The third card signed on this page, John Tudor, Rusty Cunts. Pretty awesome. Next card going in is Ron Washington. World Series champion coach with the Braves this last year. Managed the Rangers for a long time. Of course, he was also a player. Always looks like he just got done doing cocaine. I think he had a cocaine problem in the 80s. He would have been fit, fit right in with the 86 Mets. Here he is. Now, I purchased this card online. I purchased this on eBay. He's he's a very sporadic signer. I don't think he's signed much in the last couple years. Hit and miss at the Braves Stadium. Got this from the BBC Exchange eBay store. They have a lot of signed cards. I just assume uh, if they can authenticate un, uh, you know, sealed boxes, hopefully they can authenticate these cards, or at least um, they look pretty legit, so... Ron, Ron Washington, I think it was like three bucks, so... Who knows? Bryn Smith, another nice Tiffany card. Another great signer. Here he is down here, and once again, taking out the um, Bryn Smith non-glossy and replacing it with a Bryn Smith glossy. Tom Herr, three more on this page. It's getting exciting, guys, isn't it? You guys get excited, or is it just me? Seeing these, these pages filled or fill up with autographs. Bob Baylor, by the way, um, I have... Well, just stay tuned. I got him going in the traded set here later on. Larry Boa, next card going in. Larry Boa, another great signer. All right, right here up top. Next to Bill Stein, another good signer. Boom. All right, guys, just a couple more cards left. Steve Carlton, once again, this is his base card going in. Take him out of his little sleeve right here. I think I got three cards signed by Steve. 
40 times 3, 120. But good to get this one out of the way. All right, right up here in the corner. The Cobra also on this page, Dave Parker. Next guy going in, going to be one of the last cards in the set, card 792, Bill Russell. He signs through date JD Legends for 15 bucks a card. Had to, I had to send three off for him to get signed. I actually think this is the last card in the set. And you know what? Where do you got Bill Russell? Why am I flush with Bill Russell cards? Am I accidentally signing? I don't think I am. I might have got this from a, a, a Facebook lot. Well, that sucks. Let's throw another card in then, huh? I don't know what to do with him. Let's just throw him upside down and throw him right here. This was going to be the last card. We'll find another card to throw in. Bob Baylor. Bob Baylor, great signer. This is his Tiffany card. This will be... Actually, it's not his Tiffany card. As you see, all the... Um, all of the uh, the traded set is, is gloss. It's not really glossy. It's just a little, little nicer. It just pops more. It's brighter. But they're not glossy. They're actually perfect. I wish they're what the I wish the Tiffany cards were. There we go. And a traded set. I got a few traded cards signed already. So that's pretty cool. He's a great signer. And I, as you saw, I had his base card sign. For whatever reason, I think this was another. This was another Facebook lot, which is probably why this card was with the. Um, the duplicate Bill Russell card because I must have got them in a lot together. So I think about three bucks, maybe. I don't know. I like I said, you, you get you, you buy a lot of signed cards for, uh, you know, 20, 30 cards and you're going to get a lot of easy ones in there. But there's a few in there that that's worth the purchase. And that's what I did. That's how I got Russell. And that's how I got Bob Baylor here, even though I could I could easily send this one in and get signed. All right, gang, final, final card this time. Jerry Mumphrey going in. Jerry Mumphrey bought this card on eBay for $7 shipped. A little scuffed on there, but it was just a piece of fluff or whatever. Horribly miscut card. Jerry Mumphrey uh, signed really good up through 2018. Hasn't signed anything in the last few years. So I saw this on eBay for about 7 bucks. I thought, why not? Pulled the trigger on Jerry Mumphrey. There he goes. Looks really good in there. And by the way, I spent 26 on a Quisenberry and I spent, I think that's it. Three bucks on around Washington. I think I mentioned that. So there's uh, just to cap off what everything cost me. The Quisenberry I thought was a pretty good price. And I was talking about like forgeries and stuff. Some of the stuff on eBay looks really off, like really weird. So as far as I'm concerned, if your little spidey senses tell you that uh, something's up, something is probably up. So that's my little advice for anyone out there trying to put together some of these sets. And that is it, my friends. Check out the stats and all that. Man, the set is growing. I'm very excited about it. Really happy everyone showed up to watch this video. Hope everyone has a great Sunday. I got another video coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, of course, through the mail Monday on Monday. Check that out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you all these guys, uh, this guy's turns. Lots of... Uh, the big guys in this uh, in this in this video got a Car couple of carlton's taking care of rhino some hall of famers so that's pretty sweet uh, putting them in there so that's it my friends have a good one see ya